Hey, what is up you guys? This is ZK, and today I'm going to be coming at you with an additional video to my tutorial series on how to create a Nazi Zombies map. This one's going to teach you how to create custom textures, and what I mean by that is you want to create something you want to put on the wall, or you want to put a picture on the wall, and you want to make your own texture, your own, you know, picture basically that you put on the wall. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'll show you how to make it so that when you shoot it, it'll make you know, sparks, or it'll make wood pieces fly out, or whatever you want, whatever you want to happen. So uh, in the description, okay, there's one program that you're going to need. You're going to need GIMP 2, or GIMP whatever. Just get some sort of GIMP, all right? So you're going to need that, and that should be all the only programs that you need to make this work. Now, obviously, the first thing that you're going to need is an image so you can you can do that of like one of three ways you can draw it you can go take the picture if you want you know a picture of a wall you can go take a picture of your wall and put it on your computer you know and or you can go to Google go to images and then type in whatever you want all right so uh, this is obviously not going to be my image I'm gonna open up a uh, picture of black ops 2 all right, so here we got, uh, this is going to be my texture that I'm going to use, because Black Ops 2 is awesome. And uh, now, the uh, once you have your picture, you need to resize it to a power of 2. I have 1024 by 1024. If you just do that, that should be fine. You shouldn't need it any bigger, shouldn't need it any smaller. 1024 is pretty good. And uh, if you don't resize it to a power of 2, then it won't work right. So um, you can just Google powers of 2 if you, for some reason you need more or if you need less. Just Google powers of two and whatever, and then you should be good. So save it and whatever, close it up. And you can edit your image with GIMP 2 if you want to. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm using GIMP 2.6. So if you haven't used GIMP when you made your texture, there we go. All right, so open it up, and you should get this. And um, you want to click Save As, and then click a Select File by extension. Go down and uh, find TGA. There it is. TGA. Targa image, whatever. So you want to hit save. And uh, yeah, I want to replace it. So you click save. And there you go. So now it saved it as a TGA, which is what you want. So now go to uh, pictures. Or not necessarily pictures. Wherever you saved it. Because here's the original that I had in paint. And here's the new one that GIMP saved it as, bo2.tga, all right? That's what you want, you wanna copy that. And uh, go to your root folder, Activision, COD World at War. Go to raw, and then images. And you wanna paste it in right there, and I already have it in there, but I'm gonna copy and paste overwrite it. So there you go, now we have bo2.tga, and these are other ones that I've made. You know, various different things, different textures. All right, so that's it. Now open up Launcher, and hit Asset Manager. Now you want to hit new, even though it's already on new. I always hit new just in case. Uh, you don't have to do this every time, but the first time, you just click material. Then you want to hit save as, and save it in Cod World or source data, and you can name it whatever you want to. This will be for when you're creating your texture. Just name it like um, my textures or something like that. You don't, it doesn't matter what you name it. I'm gonna name it YouTube textures save all right there you go so now you want to hit now that's the only thing you'll have to do now every time you open up asset manager to to make a new texture you just want to hit file and then hit open and open up whatever you selected all right so now I'll go all the way back down to material wherever it is there it is and hit new entry and type in b or whatever the name of your uh, image was just so you always remember it's there so now you have all this stuff over here that you can be clicking on to you know, create your texture. So we're only going to need to change a couple of things. First of all, select decal right there, and surface type. Now, surface type is all of this stuff right here, and it'll determine what sound it makes when you shoot at it and what the effects are. Like, say I clicked flesh, then every time I would shoot this picture of the Black Ops 2 thing, it would squirt out in blood and make a squish sound, like it does when you shoot a person. All right, if I picked, well, fruit, fruit, why would they put fruit in there? 
Well, I, I guess if you put fruit in there, then you would get fruit juice shooting everywhere. And glass, you would get glass shatters everywhere. And metal, it would spark and then make a tinging noise and, you know, all that stuff. So since it's a poster of Black Ops 2, I'm going to make it paper. And usage, now this is where it'll appear in Radiant. So you go to textures and then usage in Radiant, and then you click on one of these things, and that's this, the category that it's going to be in. So since this is a poster of Black Ops 2, I want to put it in the poster section. But you know, you can see all this different kind of stuff that you can put it in. And yeah, that's about it for changing the settings. Uh, hit the Browse button. Go to your root folder, uh, COD World at War, and you want to go to Raw and images and bo2.tga open it up all right so we should be good that way uh you want might want to save just in case and push f10 on your keyboard there you go it says converting bo2.tga um if you didn't set your image to the powers of two you'll get an error on this screen so if you're getting errors just keep making sure that you did everything that i said correctly and it says conversion is done hit any key to continue perfect all right, so we're done with Asset Manager. You can close it up unless you have multiple images that you want to make. Open up your root folder, raw, images, and now you'll see bo2.tga, which is our original one that we converted with GIMP. And now here's the one that the Asset Manager just converted, bo2.iwi. That's the one you want. Copy it. And uh, go to your mods folder and find the mod that you, that, you, know, you uh, are putting this texture into. So I'm going to do YouTube test. Then if you don't have this folder already, hit new folder and type in ah, images. So now you have images. Open that up and then paste it right into there. Just like that. All right, so now you have your custom texture. So now let's go into Radiant and edit the map and put this texture in the map somewhere so I can show you that it worked. First, wait for Radiant to load up. Now go to Textures, Usage, and wh whatever category you put it into. I put it into Poster, so hit that. And uh, just keep scrolling down until you see it. It'll be here somewhere. There it is right there, Black Ops 2. So I'm going to select that. Uh, let's open up Nazi Zombie YouTube Test. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm, maybe I didn't save it. Oh, that's right. I'm not even using Nazi Zombie YouTube Test anymore. That's right. I'm using Nazi Zombie Test. My bad, guys. Okay. So now let me go to YouTube Test. I'll just copy this images folder out of there and put it in YouTube Test. So I'm sorry about that. I just had the wrong mod. I wasn't thinking straight, I guess. Better be recording this. Yeah, I'm recording this. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I started the video and forgot to push record. Ugh, I hate it when I do that. So open up Nazi Zombie YouTube test, or I mean, just Nazi Zombie test. And this is the one that I've been working on. You know, I've made some changes to it just because I've been testing different things. But uh, this is the one, my test map, which I created. And uh, I just mess around and do stuff in here. So let's create something that this Black Ops 2 sign can go on. Boop. Do, do, do. Now, you may notice that that's extremely big. And you can see that it's a doubling. So let me just fix that a second. Here, let's, let's just take this out of the map so we can see what we're doing. There we go. All right, so there we've got it. And uh, you'll ha if you, you'll have to resize it like this, you know, cause you like that, because you can see as I start creating it, it just doubles. So that's why you probably want to have a looping texture when you're doing this, unless you're making a poster like what I'm doing. Do -do 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 -do. All right, so there we have a uh, Black Ops 2 poster. Now you may notice that it's, pretty big it's way too big to fit inside this map so in order to fix this if you want it this big that's fine but if you want to make it smaller you can push s and uh here is where you can adjust how big the texture is so these are the ones you want to um mess with horizontal stretch and vertical stretch you can change this to let's go with 20 and we can change this to 20 enter and there you can see that we made it smaller. So now it's this big, but we want to make it a lot smaller than that. So let's make it 1, 0 0.1. And you can make it 0 0.01 and make it even smaller if you want to. 
So there I just made it one fourth the size that it originally was. And just keep keep resizing it down. Uh, that looks pretty good to me. Let me just think I need to change the grid to one. Ah. Oh, I'm such a professional at this, aren't I? <laughs> All right, so there we go. I'm not going to adjust it any more than that, just just because it's a... Uh, uh, buh, buh, buh. No, I can't even select it. Oh, such a great production, isn't it? And you can see that I have the texture all the way around it, so it's on the back and the sides and everything. If you want to change that, you can just select one side like that. Okay, so let's actually put this in the map. Let's uh, first of all get it. Uh, ta -da. Get it right side up, and it's backwards. There we go. So let's pop it down into the map. Boop. And let's put it up against a wall. Put it up against this wall, like that. So now we have a Black Ops 2 poster. You can go ahead and save it. Exit out of there. Now, go to Mod Builder and find your mod, which you were just editing. Nazi Zombie Test is the one I was doing. And uh, you can see that the images folder you just created and the new image so you can check that, make sure it's all checked, and build your mod with F with build mod FF fast file and build IWD file just like you normally do. And it might take a little extra longer here just for the first time because it's building the image and then it's putting it in the game. Fast file, blah, 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 blah. Moving to, there we go. All right, so now let's compile our level. Uh, where is it? Nazi zombie test, compile. You don't have to compile the patch. So don't worry about that. Uh, this level should take like two seconds. Let me just see how long I've been recording. Hmm, 12 minutes. I was hoping this video would be shorter than that. Guess not. Must not be very good at doing tutorials. Guys, make sure you check out my next video, which I'm going to be doing right after this. That will show you how to um, delete the dogs from your map. So if you don't want to have zombie dogs in your map, even if it's a Doriza style map, you can take them out and I'll show you how to do that. Oh, there you just saw Black Ops 2 was in the reflection probe. Did you see that? So I'll give it some time, ignore the errors because the RPG impact, boom, everybody gets that error and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't affect anything. Even when I shoot an RPG, it doesn't mess anything up. So, ah, oh, hurry up and get done. It's taking longer than usual, probably because I just turned my computer on not too long ago. Right before I did this video, it was off, and I don't like that because my computer's not very fast at starting up, but once it gets going, it's re it really gets going. There we go. Finished. All right. So go ahead and run your game, Nazi zombie test. Run the game. Man, it is taking forever. This normally launches instantly. Do -do -do. All right. So I'm online. Go ahead and launch your map, Nazi zombie test. There we go. And, oh, I don't even know if I want to look. It should be right on my right. I don't even know if I want to look. I'm going to buy PPSH and turn around slowly. Did it work? Oh, what do you know it worked? So we have Black Ops 2 in our map. Isn't that awesome? And someone was messing with my controls and turned the sensitivity way down. Oh, good grief. Why would you turn it down that low? I usually have it about right there. There we go. Now I can actually move myself. Hey, look, zombies. All right, so here I was just messing around. But anyway, so there you go, guys. And you can see when I shoot it, it gives it the paper so that when you shoot it, all it does is leave a bullet hole and a little flash, just like it would if you actually did shoot paper. If I change the to metal, then it would be sparking and making tinging noises when I shoot it. Zombies! Get out of here, zombies. I'm trying to show these guys this awesome thing. All right, guys, so I hope this video helped you, and if you have any problems, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them for you, but send me a PM. Uh, don't leave it in the comments because YouTube doesn't always tell me about the comments that you leave. So, yeah, it, it's like it tells me about every other one, so I, I end up answering half the people who ask questions, and it just gets annoying. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my next video so I can show you how to delete the dogs from your map. So, uh, this is ZK signing off. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.